Well, good morning viewers. It's been a month since my last adventure, which was uh, off the Lemon Tree Flat camping ground. That was awesome time. And I've been working full time. I'm back employed now again, which is good news money-wise, but there goes the uh, riding the bike every day. So I've been working Monday to Friday, all the daylight hours, and uh, the weekends have been either very busy or very wet. And it's sunny today. I have got stuff to do, but I thought um, I need an adventure. So I've come out to the Moon River Cafe out at Malangani, and uh, one of my favourite little spots, run by Rob and Mark, who I just met Mark, and uh, had some breakfast, had some coffee. I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to take you up to the lookout, show you where we're going to go. I'll see you up there. I'm going to go for a little adventure today, I'll show you, up into all that lot. About halfway in there's a road called Razorback Road or something, which goes down into a valley and then you can come back through here and I want to explore down that valley. So we'll go and find out, have a little adventure. Cambridge Plateau Scenic Drive, drive with only. 22 kilometers lower standard gravel road, whatever that means. Probably means don't bring your fucking caravan down here. Wow. It's gorgeous. Is it not? Gonna have to stop and take in the view here somewhere and uh friend of mine who also is on YouTube, Jonas Ross, Northern Rivers Adventures Riding, I think he's called, um, on his channel. He stopped somewhere here, it might have been over there, by a water tank, where there was an awesome view, so hopefully I can do the same. Wow, look at this, this is awesome. Craggy, gotta ride up that big hill. Looks like you do. The grass is all wet and dewy. Not sure I want to do that. I might just turn around and go back to the edge and walk up or something. I don't know. Well, that is pretty awesome. Beautiful. Well, in the distance, the Great Dividing Range. This is lovely country here. This is such a great little spot. The camera won't be doing it justice, of course. So I took lots of photographs, which you may well be looking at right now. Very dramatic terrain. Love it. It is a totally scenic road. Richmond Range National Park. Alrighty. <laughs> a little bit rubbly and fucked up there.
Cambridge Plateau all day use area. Shit, I mean. A rut full of gravel. Not a great idea. There's been work done here, people slashing the edges, throwing out bits of shit. There's plenty of uh, ruts that have been made by recent rains. So the road's pretty good, but there's the odd surprise. Like that. Whoa, fuck. Great big rut full of grass. I couldn't really see. Oh, Jesus. Really? Oh, God damn. Beautiful big carpet snake cut up by the slasher by the looks of it. It'll be unusual for the poor bugger to be out. It's supposed to be winter, but... Uh, Seasons are all fucked up. It's way too warm for this time of year. Teresa Creek Trail. That's where I want to get to is Teresa Creek. What's that like then? It's closed. That's the one, people. Hi, Benny. No, no, that's all right. Um, is this uh, Razorback? It is. Right, okay. I had a feeling it would be closed. I thought I'd come and find out. Yeah, no worries. But yeah, no, a lot of these management trails um, aren't open to the public. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, fair enough. I mean, Google Maps can never tell me enough. Yeah, it's 550. <laughs> 500. 500. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually filming all this. So do you mind being on, on a YouTube thing? Really yeah, I'm David, by the way. Sam, nice to meet you, David. S Sam? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise known as Captain Cranky. But Captain Cranky. Right. <laughs> Why the aircraft sticker? Oh, I, I just I got that off an old SES magnetic map. Oh, right. And I thought, yeah, it might help me fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one. oh, what a fucking horrible rut to go in, you twit. Ooh, view. <laughs> One day I'm going to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Right, so that was Sam. I uh, forgot to ask him what he is, probably a National Parks guy. Lovely guy and a rider. I swapped a few riding stories with him. And uh, yes, that is Razorback Road. And yes, it's a management trail only. So it is closed, I can't go down there. So I've got to look at the alternatives. I'm thinking of actually going to Banal, but it's going to take me, might make my trip a little longer. So I'll see if I can let wifey know. And then I'll head on and do that. I just don't want to backtrack for some reason. I do have signal, okay. Just got my bearings. Let wifey know. <coughs> I've got to go via Peacock Creek and Banalbo instead. Off we go. Continue on Cambridge Plateau Forest Drive for 13 kilometres. Okay. Yep, I'm trying the old Google Maps. This really has been worth coming out to see all this. This is beautiful. That was interesting. I was just thinking about Phil 480 back in England there. He started doing a bit of what they call green leaning on his Triumph Scrambler. And, uh, I mean... I think you get all sorts of people when you ride a bike and then you start doing something different on it. They say, ah, oh, yeah, you should have got one of these. Honestly, I think that's bollocks. Everybody loves the bike they have, unless they buy a shit one, which is pretty unusual. Um, you know, you learn to do what you can on your bike. You learn how your bike handles different terrain, and you just love it more and more. That's what Phil's doing. I must say, he's doing bloody good. But yeah, you know, take the bike you got and have adventures on it. Everybody will love their bike, everybody loves their own bike, will think it's better than others for whatever reason. I do too. 
but uh, I don't think there's any reason to tell somebody else that they should get a different bike. If they're enjoying it, that's their adventure bike. 300 meters, turn left onto Peacock Creek Road. Daha. I think I'm turning left in 300 meters. Okay, so that way, not far down there is where I stopped at that junction after I did uh, two number dam and all that. And Continue went, on Peacock Creek Road for 17 kilometers. Mm -hmm, okay, then I went that way, ended up in casino. So this way, I'm gonna, this time I'm going to go the other way, to go back under some bit of sandiness here. This should be fun. In fact, this has been a fucking awesome day. I'm so glad I came out. I missed my little adventures. I missed being out on Falcor. And just the way it makes me feel. I mean, <clears throat> there's so many words you could use. Freedom, whatever, I don't know. It's For me, it's beyond words. I just love it. It is awesome. I must say I'm loving this Shinko on the front. It's handling everything very well. The TKC80 on the back is uh, still really good off-road, but it's absolute rubbish now on wet tarmac. It has seriously no grip. So I'll be getting a Shinko for the back quite soon. Peacock Creek Rest area. Oh. If I could try first gear. It's pretty nice. Alright, that's handy. Like we started at the lookout there, Malangani Lookout. Well, we started at the coffee shop, we went up the lookout. We've come all the way along here. I wanted to go down a track there, that's the one that was closed. We've come up to there, at that crossroads, we're now on our way down here to Manalbo. Not too far to go now. Richmond Range National Park covers more than 15,400 hectares and combined with Toonambar National Park to the north protects more than 30,000 hectares of the Richmond Range. They have a diversity of flora and fauna that has been described as the richest in Australia. Bung Doozle Road. <laughs> I like it. Bung Doozle Road. Well, I'll be bung doozled. Oh, we're going over a cliff now. I suspect another watery crossing. Oh god, yeah, it was muddy on the way in. Oh shit, here we go. Keep it going. Holy shit. Wow. Somehow I made it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, there was no backing out of that one. It probably wasn't as bad as I'm making out, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I'm having a shitload of fun, by the way. This is awesome. Oh, here we go again. This one isn't too bad. I'm getting good at those because I've done two of them. Cheers, buddy. Now, there is a considerate off-road four-wheel drive user. Gave me more room than I needed, slowed down more than I had to, just, you know, air on the cautious side. That's the way to do it. Fucking good on you. You know, I've <laughs> got that feeling now that I just wish I had the tent on the back and I could do this for days. Wow. I'll tell you what, with the right tyres on it, this bike is pretty fucking awesome. Oh, 
Well, it looks like that's the end of our uh, off-road adventure for today. If you've managed to watch all of this, it might be a long one. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for all those who comment. Please ride safe out there, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.